One of the biggest threats to endangered species is in poaching or pollution or climate change. It's other animals. Here's what you need to know. Just look at the Asian carp, an invasive species that have been threatening the U.S. for years. The carp were imported by Midwestern fish farmers in the 1970s, but eventually escaped due to flooding. The fish, which can grow as large as 110 pounds and have a habit of leaping out of the water like silver missiles when they're threatened, are voracious eaters. U.S. officials were so worried that the carp would make their way all the way up the Mississippi River into the Great Lakes ecosystem that the White House named a carp czar in 2010 and has since spent hundreds of millions of dollars trying to defend the lakes. But those efforts may be for naught. A new study found out last month that a number of grass carp, a subspecies of Asian carp, seem to have established themselves in a river that leads directly into the Great Lakes, which means they could be setting up the stage to breed for years. Then there's a lionfish, a spindly tipped species that has wrecked havoc in the Atlantic since it was accidentally introduced during Hurricane Andrew back in 1992. The lionfish is a rapid breeder and an indiscriminate hunter, consuming more than 40 species, including valuable commercial ones like the grouper. Like many invasive species, they're especially dangerous because native species have no innate fear of them until it's too late. On land, Burmese pythons, often released accidentally as pets by their owners, have begun to menace the Florida Everglades. The pythons can grow to nearly 20 feet and can take down everything from bobcats to small alligators. A 2012 study of the Everglades found a drastic reduction in the number of small mammals that tend to make up the diet of the python, a sign that the snakes are beginning to have a major impact on one of the most important ecosystems in the United States. Given the threat from invasive species, it's not surprising the government spend billions of dollars a year trying to deal with them. But the problem is getting worse. Climate change is mixing up habitats, moving animals from one part of the world to another, while growing international trade can shift species across the globe. The fight against invasive species has long been a losing battle, and that's even led some scientists to say it's time to stop trying to fight. After all, a species that left its home in Africa millions of years ago and has since spread to every corner of the world should be a familiar one. It's human beings. <laughs>